2022. 10 on your side is your local election headquarters. While you were sleeping, President Donald Trump made his first public comments about the midterm elections. Mr. Trump tweeted, tremendous success tonight. Thank you to all. Now, this comes despite the fact Democrats will now control the House of Representatives. Several big upsets allowed the party to seize control of the lower chamber of Congress, and that includes one race in our area. Tanya Sides' Kiana Patterson joins us live in the newsroom. And Kiana, overnight, Congressman Scott Taylor conceded to Democrat Elaine Luria. And now she is set to take over as the next representative of the 2nd District, winning by about 6,000 votes. Yes, Don and Katie, Elaine Luria's win means change for the typically Republican district. She described the win as exhilarating, but she says the victory is really for the people in the second district. It was a packed house at her election night headquarters as people cheered, thank you, and yes, we did. During her acceptance speech, she promised to lead in a bipartisan way on issues like sea level rise, infrastructure, and military readiness. She even thanked Congressman Scott Taylor for his service to our country and the district. She also had a message for his supporters. What I'd say to the, to the folks who uh, voted for and supported Congressman Scott Taylor is that, um, you know, I want to listen to them and, uh, you know, work for them as much as anyone who voted for me. So, you know, the doors are open, the phones are on, and we're, you know, ready to get to work and work on these complex issues for our district. And she says now it's time to get to work. She plans to have her first town hall at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Virginia Beach in the near future. But now we're going to toss it over to Lex Gray, who has reaction from Taylor's campaign. Lex? Thanks, Kiana. Overnight, we got a statement from Scott Taylor's campaign. It said, I'm very proud of all the work my team has accomplished over the past two years for working people, veterans, and the military. Congrats to Elaine Loria, her family, and her supporters. We wish her all the best as her success is our success. 